Hello guys, so now we are going to implement the drawer on our home page, home page dot dot. So what we can do is on the home page we can add a widget which is by the name drawer. This is the uh, scaffold widget property, okay, drawer. Now when you add this drawer property to this we assign basically, inside it we will implement our drawer. For example, we can say drawer widget. Now, you may want to set is size. For example, the width of our this drawer. So you can also do that by simply wrapping this drawer widget inside a container. Okay, and then set the container width. Let's say 256. This will be the width for this container. Also, the user will close it if the user click on the screen outside this drawer option. Then the drawer will be closed, the drawer will be open if the user click on the hamburger button, which we will add step by step. So for that purpose, we need a scaffold key. To manage the scaffold state, okay, it is called global key. So we can say global key scaffold state we can give it name as S key and now here we can say scaffold key S key and let's start implementing our drawer so we can say child list view children widget first we will add the header of the drawer we will implement it the UI child drawer header decoration const box decoration and the color for the for this will be pure white then after the decoration add a row widget and we will add a image from the asset I will provide you this image by the name avatar please download it copy it and then paste it inside the assets which is by the name avatar.webp so what we can do is we can say inside the assets we have an image by the name avatar.webp we will set the width and height for this so width will be 60 and height will be 60 after this image we will have we can add some space then using the column widget next is alignment center first we will add the username of the logged in user now here as I told you we will display the username for now let's give it hard coded value and then we will display the actual username of the logged in user font size 16 font wet will be bold then after this some space then using the text widget we display profile color for which will be gray that is the profile text okay now after the header this container with size box widget just like this then after the header uh, comes the body of the drawer similarly also replace this container with size box so in the body what we can do is we will add the 
buttons or you can say the options so for example the first one using gesture director as it will have a click event we want to add that is when the user tap on it child list style leading leading icon icon start history of course you can set the color for this icon then after the leading we have title for this list style using text widget we can say history trips history basically when the user click on this we will display the trips history so anyways then after it we have another button for now we will add about sign out so the icon will be our info and the button name will be about then the third one will be log out or you can say sign out when the user click on the log out button we will simply log out the user from the app so using the firebase auth dot instance dot sign out and then send the user to the login page so context from a material page root sign in page as this child list style will remain constant it has constant values so as a whole you can apply const on this list style and remove this const from here similarly for these as well so these are the this is the body of the drawer for now we have history about and sign out page uh, sign out button three options now the next thing is from where the user will open this drawer so for that purpose inside the body we can add drawer button so we will make use of the position widget we will position this drawer button at the top of the screen at the top left corner so we can say top 36 37 from the left it will be 20 child gesture reductor on tap decoration box decoration we will apply border radius circular 20 then box shadow box shadow color will be gray blur radius spread radius and offset after the box decoration you can say child circle avatar background color for this circle avatar will be gray radius 20 child icon and the icon will be icons dot menu which is this hamburger button
Now let's install the app on our phone to see how it looks. Now here you can see this is the menu button or you can say the hamburger button. Now the background instead of grey we can make it white. So now you see it looks more beautiful now. So anyways now when you click on this icon then the click event will be executed which is the on tap. So to open up the drawer we can say ascii.currentState dot open drawer ok so on this icon now when we click it will open up the drawer this is how our drawer looks this is the drawer header which we implemented which you see and then after it we have the body where we have the three buttons history about logout now if you want of course you can change the color and color for the text then it will look like this that is totally up to you okay with any color you want to proceed and now when you click anywhere it will disappear the uh, side navigation drawer and when you click here again it will display it again